let me know in the chat as we move on to Q3. Which of these hair tools generates heat for styling? Comb, flat iron, or Velcro rollers? I met this little girly. Her hair was kind of curly. Well, it can take your hair from wavy to straight. And if you know how to use it just right with the flick of the wrist, it can also curl straight hair. It's in the name a flat iron. Flat iron is your answer here at Q3. 125,596 of you know that styling tool. Did you know back in the day, my mom used to use an iron to literally iron her long hair. What a trailblazer. Q4. <laughs> Irish breakfast tea is typically what kind of tea? Green, black, or white? No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Well, I am about to spill the tea on tea. All the Euro brekkie varieties, such as English, Scottish, and Irish, are highly delicious caffeinated black teas. Black is your answer here. Black tea, 103,547 of you knew that one. Maybe this is your tea time right now, right? A little afternoon pick-me-up with a little cup of tea like the queen. Q5, here we go. The role of Grand Vizier in the pre-modern Middle East is most similar to which position? Prime Minister, Bodyguard, or Footman? Grand Vizier. We all remember Jafar being the Grand Vizier in Aladdin. Side note, who's excited for the live action hot Jafar coming soon, right? And the role traditionally was more like a prime minister. Prime minister. Oh, yes. That's what Grand Vizier means. 93,539 of you getting this one right at Q5 as we head our way to the halfway point. Q6, here it is. Who is the artist behind this modern abstract masterpiece? Mm, who was that artist? Was it Paul Klee, Pete Mondrian, or Jasper Johns? Come on, you've definitely seen that one before, right? Oh, yes. Well, the clean lines and pops of color were an inspiration from Dutch painter Pete Mondrian. Pete Mondrian is your answer here at Q6. 80,720 of you getting that one right. Pete Mondrian, the OG of color blocking, right? Now we see it everywhere. Did you make any of those in art class growing up? Let me know in the chat. Q7, what song does the cast of Reality Bites dance to in the gas station? Baby, I love your way. Stay or my Sharona. Winona, Ethan Hawke, Janine, Steve Zahn. Can you get any more 90s? You can if you make them bop around to this. My Sharona is the answer here at Q7. 90,427 of you getting this one right. Listen, we are loving the 90s this week on HQ. We got fun games coming up, but for now, it's Q8. Which playwright wrote himself into a play wherein he physically fights Shakespeare, George Bernard Shaw, Bertolt Burcht, or Aaron Sorkin? He hated Shakespeare, and he took it to the quill by writing, like, basically a fan fiction puppet play where Shaw punches William Shakespeare in the face. George Bernard Shaw hated him. I don't know why. 42,945 of you knew that one. And it was petty AF, if you ask me, a little bit along the lines of Punch and Judy, right? All right, we're getting into the really tough questions now. Can you hang in there till the end? It's Q9. In an iconic 1992 commercial, Godzilla plays basketball against which athlete? Charles Barkley, Scottie Pippen, or Michael Jordan? Against Godzilla. Hmm, yeah, he's a big old monster. But did you know he could shoot? He kind of got game, too. There's nothing in the rule book that says Godzilla can't play basketball against Charles Barkley. Yeah, look. Round, round, rebound, eh? Oh, yes. Charles Barkley is who he played against. 30,579 of you getting that one right. And Godzilla, you know what? 
I really appreciate the protective eye gear as well. What an inspiration to the kids. Q10. Which of these famous film characters does not wear Ray-Ban sunglasses in their movies? Ferris Bueller, the Men in Black, or the Dude? All famous sunglass wearing peeps, right? Well, Ferris wears the classic Ray-Ban Clubmaster shape, and before swiping your minds, you might compliment the men in black on their Ray-Bans. But the dude wears Varnay 03s. That's Jeff Bridges. And those things will run you around 200 bucks. The dude. Yes, 22,423 of you know your shades. That's actually a brand made famous by James Bond, of course. We got two more to go here. Q11. Who was the U.S. president when the TV show Cops premiered? Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, or Bill Clinton? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? All right, Cops has been on for 30 years. 30 years! It premiered on March 11th, 1989, when George H.W. Bush had just signed in. George H.W. Bush here at Q11, 14,350 of you getting that one right. You know what that means. There's only one question left. You came all this way. You worked so hard. You made it to this point right here. Are you gonna finish here as a winner? I hope so. Q12 coming at you. Which of these was part of Apple's very short-lived mid-80s Apple collection of products? Apple TV, Black Turtleneck, or Apple Watch? Ah, uh, yes, Apple once sold all kinds of clothing. You could also buy wine glasses, sailboards, and although it was only $35 and it didn't come with all the fancy tech features that this one comes with today, it was still an Apple Watch. Oh, yeah, Apple Watch is your answer here at the final round, and we have 6,949 new winners. Congratulations! <laughs> Check out all the Smarties in the house today. 6,949 winners. Oh, yeah. It looks like we're all taking home a prize of just about 36 cents. And, hey, I know what you're going to say, but that's 36 cents more than you started with 14 minutes and 56 seconds ago, to be exact. And you know I like to be exact. In Nanook, I see you there, smiling girl. Smiling because you just won. Okay. Steffi, 4263, 36 cents is coming your way. Oh, yes. Congrats to all of our winners. Amazing work. A little afternoon pick-me-up with a little cash is always welcomed, right? Well, if you feel like you can go for the trifecta, then come back later tonight for more HQ trivia at 9 p.m. Eastern time, followed by words at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Then don't forget, 90s week lives on. Tomorrow is 90s music, and Thursday is 90s Nickelodeon. Trivia and words for both. I'll be back on HQ Sports tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Follow me on social at Lauren underscore Gambino. Now I'm actually headed to the Bronx for the first meeting with the Sox this season. I'll report back tomorrow, of course. I'm Lauren Gambino. Until next time, see you later. Woo! <laughs>